that's our solar panels that I'll be cleaning today. Over there, I'll show that to you in a little bit. Um, that's, uh, I have to do solar panels today, and then uh, we have uh, um, our water at the Bonobos facilities uh, comes from uh, uh, below the ground. Um, we're off the grid. We get uh, um, uh, we pull directly from the watershed. Um, but it's kind of it's kind of funny that m most of uh, our facility is underground, and it makes sense, you know, that our solar panels are above the ground, of course. But I think it's funny that our uh, our below the ground uh, water system actually is uh, one of uh, our largest structures above the ground. So I have to go to uh, 12 different uh, testing faucets, let them run, and then uh, uh, test them for uh, bacteria and, and whatnot, uh, pH levels. Um, and then that goes into the facility. And, uh, and then the other thing I'm doing, the one other thing, oh, here's, our, here's the tank. That's uh, three stories above ground and two stories below. And it's pretty huge. There's more security cameras. Actually, uh, when I was saying there aren't any security cameras in the uh, in the tunnel system, um, yeah, there are sort of security cameras now. And uh, someone asked me uh, if I was filming in the tunnels, and I said no. I was curious to see if my phone um, got reception right there. And uh, they asked me to turn in my phone. I did. There's no camera on it. Um, and then they wrote me up for it. We're such got such a write-up culture. Which actually kind of explains the other thing I'm doing about uh, I'm going to pick up uh, great grandfather's corpse. We have this, uh, it's kind of like a forklift called a come along, and uh, um, I'm supposed to take it down there and bring him back uh, alone. They're not going to run a train for it. Um, and one of the reasons why I'm going is I have the least amount of write ups uh, um, at my uh, department. And uh, then the Northwest Regional Director came because uh, Great Grandfather's, uh, what he was really supposed to contribute um, this stage of his life was uh, he was supposed to die of natural causes. Then we'd have um, a record of how long a, uh, a Bonobos could live in captivity. But he didn't. Um, at first, uh, it was put down as. Uh, uh, natural, um, what do they call it? Like it's a, uh, it's a form of, uh, of rough housing that uh, the, the age and the youth um, get. It's kind of like uh, aggression displays and things like that. Um, but evidently, uh, great uh, great grandfather fell uh, um, victim to some rough housing and uh, and died and. Uh, and one, I mean, one of the things, too, about uh, the person who did the autopsy put it down as natural, which would say that a bonobos can live this long in captivity. And then it was found out uh, when the Northwest Region Director came that uh, he was wearing a, a, that sweater that everybody uh, pitched in on. Um, he was uh, reintroduced back into the population, even though we have a care facility. Um, so there was, like, these deviations from protocol. And, uh, and then it was like this person has marks on their record. And the thing is, we all have marks on our record. Uh, we have the, we're the largest facility. And uh, here's one of the things you get, because you're exposed to like four times as much as of the average uh, um, uh, Bonobos, Bonobos caregiver, um, that makes your experience really valuable. And so it'd be really easy to, uh, to transfer out, to go to, like we're, we're doing the uh, Salem, Portland, uh, uh, Seattle hub. Um, but you could go to smaller hubs, and uh, it's more laid back. It's not so uh, back-breaking a lot of the times. Um, so how that's prevented is uh, you get written up all the time. Like I got written up for having my phone out, and I'm not supposed to. I'm supposed to check the phone into security uh, when I arrive. Um, and so if someone, even if someone has a lot of experience, like there's some people who've been working there for 30 years, um, they would find a hard to transfer somewhere else with that huge amount of experience, um, if, if you know write-ups are maintained on them. Um, so it, tur it turns out we ha our facility we have the most write-ups of any other facility, and uh, and so I'm going to pick up great grandfather because uh, I have the fewest, and mine are uh, and 
Mine's also fun because it's a, a unconnected uh, uh, workplace protocol discrepancies, which is essentially said that uh, I've made a series of mistakes, never repeated any of those mistakes in any other in in, in that area again. Um, so I've made, so I've kind of screwed up, but not on anything in particular, but just kind of in general. <laughs> And somehow that makes me most qualified to go get great grandfather today, which um, is a dubious blessing. So I gotta, I gotta go in here, and there's cameras right there, and I don't want to get busted again. So um, yeah, if I, if I can, I, I'll be going through the tunnels again. And if I'm going through an area where there aren't any cameras, I'll film it because it should be cool. Um, and uh, it'll be nice to say, uh, say goodbye to great grandfather uh, this last time. He was supposed to be such a big deal that I didn't think he was gonna come to our department, I thought he'd go straight to research, but come to our department, he will. All right, everybody, see you in the tubes.